Hi, I'm Miss Nishikawa. I'll be your sixth grade science and math teacher. So if you're watching this video, you might be in the math course or the science course, but welcome. I'm so excited to have you. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. So I love to teach. I have you know, been teaching for a few years and I really enjoy it. I also love science and math. So, you know, that hopefully will transfer to you. If you don't feel like you are a science or math person, uh, I will try to make this as fun as possible as we work together. I have two daughters. My older daughter, Chloe, she is nine and she is a lot of fun. She likes to go rock climbing and she does some ice skating and gymnastics and things like that. Aria, she is my ice skater. She loves it. She's doing little jumps. She is eight. She is in third grade and you will probably see lots of pictures of them and they may even make appearances in some of my videos if I can convince them to help me out and be assistants. So a little bit about you know, our courses in science. I'm hoping to do some labs uh, and math. You know, I'm going to try to make you know, some engaging activities we can do together. Uh, join me on Mondays. I'm going to be offering a lunch, which is not school related. It's not work related. It's just so we can get to know each other, uh, talk, hang out while I eat my lunch. You eat your lunch. It's going to be from 12 to 1 on Mondays. Um, and that will be posted on your schedule that you'll see. And it's optional. You don't have to come, but I hope that you do so we can get to know each other. Um, welcome to sixth grade. You guys are making that transition from fifth grade to sixth grade. It's a big jump. So you're going to have to learn to try to keep up with your work. That's going to be probably a challenge for most sixth graders, but especially in this online um, school. With it doing virtual learning and you have control of when you do your work, you still have to get the work done. So you're going to have to create that kind of schedule for yourself. Um, while your assignments are all due on Sunday, they are listed out as a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so that you can break it up and work through it in the right order. Don't wait till Saturday and Sunday to do all of your work because you're going to struggle and it's going to be too much to get done in one day. Uh, if you feel like you are struggling with the amount of work or you feel like you're struggling with keeping up, um, please reach out to me. Uh, have a parent reach out to me or you reach out to me. I really try to keep a lot of our communication between me and my e-learner, my student, because you're you know, becoming a young adult in sixth grade and you have to learn to take responsibility for what you are doing. And now I will reach out to parents if I need to, but I really wanna work with you to help you build those skills so that you can be a productive learner and you know, learn how to learn. That's what I really want from you. I'm excited. I can't wait to get to know you. So please join me in some of these uh, meetings, office hours and lunches so that we can get to know each other and I can help you. Yeah, I hope that at the end of this year that you have loved science, but even more than that, I hope you know how much you are loved and cared for and that you don't feel like I learned from a computer all year because you're not. I'm here, I'm real, and I really hope that we get to meet at some point and I'm excited that we're gonna work together this year.